Uh, all these guys up here are absolute freaks, by the way. They can all play multiple instruments. And so right now, I'm just going to start playing mandolin, because why not? Uh, the reason, the way it started was um, back when uh, he ended up working for that production company as well, and that once I was a country artist. That's a whole other story. It started out with me writing country songs, and I'm like, I'll sing the demo, but I like, I want like, I want this to be my thing. And then one day the guy comes in, and he's like, you know, I've been thinking, I'm just not going to pay you anymore unless you be a country artist. And I was like, well, I guess I'm a country artist all of a sudden. It's a pretty sweet gig. No, it was not too shabby. And, and I ended up, you know, releasing a, uh, an album of country songs, and some of those ended up getting repurposed later on a home free album. So I can't really complain. Uh, but at one point in time, he was like, you guys just, you know, do some covers and put them on YouTube or something. And so um, I decided to do, you know, to country a Lady Gaga song. Which is something I'm saying, we're not doing that right now. Uh, but Chris was like, oh, I guess I'll learn mandolin for that song. That day. <laughs> Which is silly. Because it's, you know, it's not just a miniature guitar. Like, there's completely different tuning. It's got a ton of strings on there. It's, it's not easy, is the point I'm trying to make. And he was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, just give me like an hour and I'll have it figured out. And sure enough, we did it. We filmed the video and everything. And, uh, and then he had a new mandolin after that. So, uh, recently, Austin and I decided that uh, we would cover our favorite Clay Walker song. And uh, and we realized Jeffrey was in town. So we were like, you know, originally it was going to be the three of us doing three part harmony. Uh, Chris playing electric guitar, actually. Uh, because Austin had a really cool idea to put the song What's It To You by Clay Walker over the pop song Shut Up and Dance With Me. Left field went up. And that song has like guitar stuff. So that's what we did at first. And then I was like, well, actually, why don't we have Jeffrey come not only play rhythm guitar, but sing the baritone part, and then I can sing a bass part, and then Chris can do that lead part on mandolin and kind of really anchor the country sound. And I guess it worked, because after we released that video, Clay Walker not only shared it, but then reached out to us and asked if we'd like to do something with him. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. We've already finished the track. It's getting mixed. And mastered right now, and, uh, and then we're gonna actually learn it and see if it plays. <laughs> and if you want to be the first people in the world to hear it, you can go to AustinBrownMusic.com. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. Okay. See if that's the key here. Right, cool. So if we start off with that. I just want to make sure that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a lot of stuff going on up here. I don't know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. Love is a rhythm. Two hearts beating, bound and down the stage, steady and true. That's right. That's right now. What's that? I hear angels sing. Tell me to make my Listen to it, their voice ringing ring. If you feel it, get a groove. Love is a rhythm, but two hearts beating. Well, I know what they say, say it yeah, true. Talk to me, baby, tell me what you feel. I know what love is, what's it to you? Love is a
Uh, well, I actually wrote this song, and this is uh, the two people that I wrote this song with are in the room right now. I wrote this next song with Jeffrey East. I wrote it with Mr. Steven Martinez. Uh, I had the, the chorus and a bunch of lyrics, and I came in the room and I was like, hey guys, I wrote this song last night, and I think I like it. Um, and they were like, oh, this is great, Jeffrey loved it. And he was like, well, he just changed a few things in the, in the verse. And he'd be like, what do you think about this? And I immediately, in like two minutes, he hit the nail on the head. I was like, that's what I'm trying to say. Yes, exactly. This song meant a lot to me at the time. It still does. It really helped me through a lot of my healing process. It made me re helped me realize that like all the trauma and all the anxiety and things that I was going through at this point in my life, three or four years ago, whenever I wrote this song, were uh, rooted in a different place. Hashtag go to therapy, y'all. Okay, it's good. It's good for you. But for real. Seriously. I know some of y'all think like, I don't need that. You need it. I promise you, you will feel better. If you just go find the right therapist and it will be good for you, okay? Um, and this song is like therapy to me.
dumb crap we do in this life. Stuff that we hate doing. We just keep doing it. And, uh, you know, we spend time doing that stuff when we could be spending that time doing stuff that's more meaningful. Because we're going to look back at all those things later, you know. Every instance of our life, you know, we're, we're faced with a choice. We get to choose, are we going to, am I going to spend this next 10 minutes doing something I'm going to look back on later and think, man, I'm glad I spent that 10 minutes doing that. Are we going to look back and say, man, I really wasted that time. Clearly you guys are good at doing things that matter and making memories. So thanks again. Thank y'all for being here. Thanks for making memories with us.
do love stuff, and it's all a cappella. Uh, on the album, I sing all the parts, uh, but that's really hard to do live. <laughs> so we started, we started playing around with this one uh, this morning, and we're gonna give it a shot for y'all. Uh, well, we're just gonna try. It's not gonna carry away. We'll see. If, is that it? It's a great way to end the show. I think it's apropos. So. Good.